Hey guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I want to show you two different ways to get your Adobe Premiere Pro working again. First I would like to show you the version which I have currently from Premiere Pro 2021 and it's the version 15.0 so the latest version which is available today on 2nd April 2021. So I tried to download the older version, so Premiere Pro 2022, in the hope that it works like that, but it didn't. So I had to do some research and spend some time to finally find a way to do it. First I want to show you problem which I have with Adobe Premiere Pro. So I recommend you to open the task manager always and here you can see the issue. So it starts quite good, then loads the files, but at the end you will see importer quicktime.prm and it will stop here and do not load anything anymore. So I gave it one hour time to load and it didn't. So I can tell you it's rather not a good idea to wait until it opens up. But now I have two solutions. The first solution I found on the internet, so better said on this Adobe support community, but I must say that this did not work in my case. So I did delete this shared text.js on file, but according to some other users, this is a working solution, so I will show you how it works. But as said, in my case, it did not work. So I recommend you the second option if it also does not work in your case. So we copy this path here with Ctrl C. Then on our keyboard, we press Windows and R. And then this window opens up. So I can, I'm gonna delete this now and paste it again. No, that you can see it. And we press then OK. And here you can see the shared text.js on file. Whatever kind of file this is, we delete it here. As this guy is writing here, remove it and see if the situation returns to normal after restarting Premiere Pro. In my case, I can tell you it did not work, So, but I'm gonna show it to you now. That deleted, but for sure you must delete it completely by going in here and deleting it completely by simply clicking yes. So now that JSON file is completely gone, but in my case, this did not work. So I'm gonna show you now my second method, which works 100% fine. So what we need to do for this is type in here Premiere Pro 2021. Then we say open file location. And as you can see here, we have now here all our programs from Adobe. And then we right click on here and say properties. Then this window opens up and we click on compatibility. So what we are gonna do now is we run a troubleshooter on the program. I found out that we should click on this box first so that we run this program as an administrator. So I tried it the last two days different and the way I'm doing it now worked 100% correct the last two days. So let's click here on run this program as an administrator. Then we click on run compatibility troubleshooter. And now it's detecting issues and then we say troubleshoot program. When you come here, then make sure that the first box, so this here, and the third box, so that the program requires additional permissions, is clicked on. And then we say next. So in here, I tried all three versions, or better said all four. If you say, I don't know, then it will do it with the Windows Vista Service Pack 2. I came to the conclusion that it's the best if you do it with Windows 8 and we say next. And now you come here and you can see Windows compatibility mode is Windows 8 and the user account control is run as administrator. And before I click here, 
um, have a look then down there when I click it. So now test the program, we click on it and now this one opens up. As we said, run as administrator, we need to click now here on yes. So we do that and now we wait and sit back and you can look how Premiere Pro is opening back up again. As you can see now, as before it's loading now, but the good thing about now is that have a look. It stops at importer quick time again, but if we wait a little moment more, then you can see that it's now working again. And as you can see, we are back in, have access to our data again, can cut our videos again and can do some stuff again. So as you can see, we are back in here, access to our project again and that's how it works. Before I end this tutorial, I want to show you here that we say now next here. I'm going to lay this down here. This one too. So here it says troubleshooting has completed. Is the problem fixed? We say yes, save the settings, but I must say in my case it never saves the settings. So always when I want to restart Premiere Pro again, I have to do it this way, but better this way than not even get any access to it. So my opinion. So we say yes, save settings. And here you can see incompatible program. Yeah, that's how your Premiere Pro is working again. We say close to troubleshooter. And I wanna thank you for watching this video. And I hope I could help you with these two solutions. And hopefully I saved you some time and nerves. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will give my best to help you. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, like the video and share it with your friends if it worked for you. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.